thinking about listing your home and don't know where to start? Well, sit back and relax because I'm going to tell you five things you need to do before listing your home. Welcome to my channel. And if you are a return visit visitor, welcome back. I'm Shandra Cawthon with Your Virginia Beach Living and EXP Realty and today we are going to discuss things you need to do before listing your home for sale. Does the thought of moving makes you dread the process? Forget the move. How about moving plus listing your home on the market? I'm here to tell you that this could be one of the most difficult and stressful things that you will have to do but not unless you plan a course so when you start planning to move it is a good idea to start early so the things that i'm going to tell you won't sound overwhelming or maybe you are currently doing some of these things already so it will definitely make your job easier when it is time to start so before we jump into our five things, go ahead and hit subscribe and the notification button so that you don't miss out on any new content I post. First, we have declutter. When decluttering, make sure the home feels as open as possible and there is plenty of open walkway space. Try removing or donating all excessive stuff, removing big bulky furniture and doing this, uh, and doing this will make moving a whole lot easier. If buyers see that the home has an overflow of items, they could possibly think that the home is too small. Potential buyers will not get a mortgage on a home that they feel that Feel the storage space is too small and they will have to rent a storage unit to store their items. Number two, depersonalize your space. Sellers should remove anything that will be a distraction to potential buyers. It is important that buyers can visualize their family living in the home. Sellers should start by removing family photos, bold artwork, and furniture that would not be found appealing in the home. The home needs to be a blank canvas for all buyers to be able to paint a picture of what their family would look like living in the home. Number three, repaint. I know a lot of you guys don't want to hear this, but listen, if you are planning on selling your home, and you know that you have bright and vibrant colors on the walls, start early to begin painting the walls to neutral tones. If you want your home to sell fast, please keep in mind that although buyers have the option to come in and repaint, but let's be real, no one wants to come in and repaint a rainbow magic home to a home with neutral colors or the color that you want when purchasing a home. I know because I was one who did just that. It wasn't fun repainting a little over 1600 square foot home in one week before it was time to move in. As a seller, you may love the green wall in your home. Green walls, one accent wall, but if, a, if, but if green is a potential buyer's least favorite color, it could be a total turnoff for them. Number four would be curb appeal. Your curb appeal is going to be the first thing buyers see when they arrive to your home. So do yourself a favor and make sure you have your yard well manicured. This means keeping the grass cut on a regular basis Paper picked up out of the yard, kids' toys out of the front yard, and bushes and shrubs trimmed. Making small investments 
in some colorful flowers, painting the front door and power washing the home if need be can make the home very inviting and enticing buyers to come in. You only have one time to make a good impression of your home when potential buyers arrive. Believe it or not, buyers will judge a book by its cover. I've had buyers to drive up to a home and not go in because the curb appeal was not at its best. Lastly, a home inspection and termite moisture inspection. Getting a home inspection and a termite inspection before listing your home is like beating the potential buyer to the punch. Now, what I mean by beating the buyer to the punch is by getting to know what is wrong with your home before the buyer gets their home inspector and termite and moisture inspection person um, to do an inspection. This way, you get a head start on being able to fix any major repairs if there are any. And you can already have the clear termite and moisture letters for, buyer, for the buyer's side to give to, to the, their mortgage lender. If there are no repairs, then congratulations. You can list your home knowing that it is in great condition and there are no worries. In fact, you could have your agent to put in your listing, or should I say, in the lit agent notes for our ML MLS that says Zoe has already had a home inspection done. Keep in mind the buyer doesn't have to accept, but doing this saves time and makes it a little stress-free when you get a ratified contract. So if you have enjoyed this video this far, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up and comment any questions you might have in the comment section. Comment section. <laughs> Sellers, keep in mind that it is your job to help buyers envision themselves living and loving your home. And with a good agent, will help get your home sold fast. Until next time. YouTube family. Bye.